Welcome back, and today I'd like to talk about alternative downloads for macOS Sierra in the App Store. So I ran into a problem where I needed macOS Sierra because I had to downgrade from High Sierra due to like, you know, software incompatibility and things like that. So uh, when I went to the App Store, and I'll show you guys what it looks like, normally all of my downloads, including operating system downloads, are available. So if you look at it here, I have OS X El Capitan, Yosemite, and going back to Mavericks, and even Lion. So uh, I started looking for Sierra, and for whatever reason, uh, Apple has removed those as downloads from the App Store. So you can't download Sierra or High Sierra, which is a, a bit odd. I did a little bit of digging and came across an article in uh, Mac Rumors that says exactly that. For whatever reason, they're not listed for download. Uh, me needing it, I found an alternative method to getting it. So let's jump right into that. Um, I have this on my second desktop here and essentially it is an app uh, called um, Mass or Moss or however you want to pronounce it but it's basically a Mac App Store command line method to download apps so those apps are still in the App Store technically there just aren't any public links that you can download them from but this method lets you uh, essentially download them without having a link so uh, I'm gonna link this page uh, because the pre-compiled version is within uh, their kind of github page but it's not directly f from their page so in other words you can't just click a clone and download it like you would normally you have to go through uh, specific builds to find one uh, so uh, this build right here which is version 1.3.1 it works uh, pretty well and we'll just do it together and see what it looks like. All right, and you'll see it uh, download here. I have an automatic unzip, so it directly unzipped for me. I'm just gonna drag and drop it onto my desktop. This is the pre-compiled version, so you won't have to do any compiling in Xcode or anything like that. And what we'll do is minimize this and we'll open up a terminal window, okay. And we'll just keep these side by side so you can see what's happening. All right. And note that you do have to be signed into the App Store for this actually to happen. And essentially, all you have to do is just drag the uh, executable into your um, terminal window. And then there's a code for each specific App Store download. So I found the code for uh, Mac OS Sierra. What I'm going to do is copy it. And then I'm going to paste it right uh, on that same line. Then we're going to hit return. Oops. Oh, okay. So I see what's happening here. Uh, the app isn't uh, from an identified developer. So first thing we're going to have to do is go to system preferences, security and privacy and hit open anyway. And we're going to hit open. Okay, so uh, it, it has installed, the process has completed successfully, and now we're gonna try this one more time. Drag in, text edit, and let's make sure that's still in memory. Command C, Command V, and return. Unrecognized command, very strange. Um, excuse me. So let's try this right now. Uh, Command V. Try this one more time. Okay, so MAS, and I believe we're missing the install portion. And let's wait for it. There we go. Okay, so that that's uh, essentially uh, the part that I skipped there. Uh, you have to give it the, the install command in order for it to begin installing. Uh, so after you drag it in, you give it the command install and you give it the install number and it will begin downloading. So if you look at the uh, App Store now, it'll show up under other purchases and you'll be able to download it directly from there. And that's uh, essentially it. Uh, sorry that we have to bounce around there a little bit, but that's essentially the, the process. Uh, I'm do currently doing a little bit of digging to see if I can find where uh, these codes can be found so that you don't have to actually, uh, you know, kind of search around the internet to find the actual code for a specific app that you're looking for. And, you know, if there's a resource for that, and if you guys have one, please share it and uh, 
other than that thank you for watching and we hope to see you back next time